Coke Red is a very specific color, and so for my brand clients, it is critically important that that color show up the same everywhere people see it. And as someone who controls that color, when I'm working on an ad for Coke, what I need to do is if I'm looking, if I'm working on my laptop because I'm on a plane somewhere, or if I'm working on my office computer, those monitors are different. They're inherently different and they change with age. If I'm not working with exact color, then I'm, I'm not able to work as quickly. I'm wasting time. I'm getting aggravated. My clients are getting aggravated. I mean, one of the important things for me is that my clients, when they're looking at the work, are also looking in a calibrated environment. As a photographer, it's the same thing. I'm working on an image, and I, that image is brightly colored or subtly colored, but I know that I want it to be a certain way. It's so exciting to see how, how a color palette, whether it's colorful or monochrome, because I do a lot of black and white work, how it evokes things in people. I want to make sure that what I'm seeing in front of my monitor and what is coming back to me is what it needs to be. And I can't tell you how many times I've thrown paper out and wasted countless amounts of ink because I wasn't calibrating. I didn't believe in it. In art school, it was fascinating when I took color theory classes because there was like the one time where I think uh, people noticed that my perception of color was different. It always made me nervous. And how can I be a creative person? How can I be an art director working with brands who rely on color and be colorblind? It is remarkable how different my life is now that I have a ca this calibrated workflow. I'm, I can trust more, I can move files between all my systems, and, and, I, and, and it's constant, and I love that.